silent but deadly weapons for silent but stinky war silent but we- silent weapons for quiet wars is a 1986 document that was discovered in a copier by people that uh, had bought a copy machine from Boeing so we know that this is a document that purports to come from the high levels of the establishment And uh, discovered in 1979, it was published in 1986. So it kind of fits in that category of things that we don't know whether these were legitimate. They were kind of questioned for a long time, but they had the appearance of something that's a real white paper leaked document. And so what we're going to do is do a deep dive and look at this paper because it's one of the most overlooked and powerful elements of the global elite writings that demonstrate a definite plan to basically subvert and take over the the United States and the West, mainly through psychological warfare, social engineering, and the economy. When we get into this document, what we see is the first thing is that it mentions the key to taking over society will be through automation. Everything will be automated. Everything will be under the surveillance tech grid. And again, keep in mind, this is not just 1979 when this document came out. This document is based on a 1954 secret meeting that was a declaration of war against the masses. The document notes that there would have to be a complete takeover of all areas of life, and that this would be done, as I said, through psychological warfare, what they call a special kind of silent weapon. That is a weapon that doesn't come with outward bombs and explosions, but rather a silent weapon that attacks in a psychological way so this is a key psychological warfare kind of document it mentions that the subjective biological warfare that this document proposes would be done through covert gradual means they would uh, use the wartime psychology studies that they had done during world war one world war ii and the cold war and collate this information into a way to directly target the public themselves. It would be used for the control of society, again, based on psychological warfare psyop studies that uh, wartime intelligence uh, operatives had basically mastered. This is especially coming from Tavistock, the UK, these kinds of entities, and they say that the, the computerization of all society would lead to the ability to erect this total information awareness type of network and control. In 1954, the quiet war had been declared at a secret meeting, much like something like B-I-L-D-E-R-B-E-R-G. It would be a total uh, revamp and overhaul of the entire economic system, mainly through principles that have been learned through energy and energy conservation. So you'll notice that full spectrum dominance, which they talk about uh, within on page six of this document, full spectrum dominance uh, is first and foremost control of the energy sector. The energy sector is key because all life, all goods, all systems, all economics is essentially energy and energy systems. The masses are spoken of as cattle and they're cattle to be rustled, to be harvested and then fed upon. And so really wealth is ultimately the store of value over time. And the cattle themselves, who are kind of energy batteries, right? They, they provide energy for this system. They uh, store up energy and wealth over time that it can be depleted by this system, mainly, get this, through inflation and fiat money. Thus, the destruction of the currency and the value of the people and the generational wealth value over time can be done to create no upward mobility, the document says. This will allow for totally controlled tiers in society, ultimately to destroy the family unit itself, which is a microcosm energy system and and, and economy. The nation state is a macrocosm, right, economy and energy system, and the global economy is even more macro scale. Bad education thus contributes to dummy people down and not letting them understand and know how economics works as a form of energy systems, right? Energy systems in terms of energy process, right? a, a closed system, an open system, currents, the way a current works is directly parallel to currencies and how currencies work and how the flow of capitals, the flow of goods, the flow of services work. It's all energy systems. The document says this has to be done in a subtle way. The types of explosions that this system lets loose are not the explosions of bombs or whatever, uh, guns. Uh, It's the explosion of toxic situations, controlled chaos, 
controlled situations and scenarios, managed chaos, right? The arc of crisis type model. It says that the uh, bullets that it shoots are situations and not guns. The generals are psychological warfare experts, not military generals. And the science of social engineering is who runs this system. So it's a scientism based technocratic approach to enslavement. Now, the amazing thing is it literally says it is a plan of enslavement. They make no bones about it. They say we have to get rid of the existing structure to bring in the new structure. Again, ties in perfectly with Great Reset, World Economic Forum, Davos. In fact, I suspect that the Fortune 100 corporate elite that were involved in this meeting are the same people that would be involved, Rockefeller, Prince Bernhard, etc., in B-I-L-D-E-R, Berg meetings and others. Same people, of course, Klaus being uh, going from Bilderberg to World Economic Forum. It says that the public will uh, instinctively capitulate to this system because they won't have any way to oppose it. And they won't understand the silent, creeping, gradual weapon that has been hitting them, which now to all of us right in this 2021 era, we can see it in the open. The public won't know how and, and in what way this is hitting them. But in fact, uh, they will eventually be um, under a total system of surveillance and control that wants to micro chip them the document even says all the population will be micro chip now obviously that doesn't necessarily mean a literal chip nowadays it probably means something like nanotech smart blood this kind of stuff but it's key to see that the document says that the way that this control happens is through systems analysis through systems analysis the uh, corporate tech elite have learned that Energy systems are the same way to understand economic systems. And since energy can be either conserved or lost uh, on the basis of the systems in question, you can learn the nodes within the system to attack the system such that the system will lose its energy and will, will fall apart. And it talks about the flow of capital, goods, and services, how this, these are the basic elements that make up a society, and how this mirrors energy systems. And it talks about different ideas like inductance. And it says that fiat systems, as we go back to the history of gold notes, promissory notes, and centralized banking currencies printing up endless, infinite amounts of fiat money, this was actually a, an ingenious scam that allowed for the elite to engineer through wars and through crises the ways to buy up nation states and even hold future generations in debt. So fiat inflation is a energy theft system it's a way to steal energy and value over time mainly through the inflation of the currency and putting the nation states into gigantic debt slave models it goes on to say that not only is this debt slavery but in fact it is the the theft of future generations wealth and this is why shock testing it says economic shock doctrine shock testing based on aviation models and the tension right involved in different metals and what metals work good for airplanes and whatnot that isn't can be applied from the engineering world to the economics world because they learned through the computer models what nodes of the economy could be attacked such that it affected something on the very other end of the economy right so the shock waves how one shock of this node hits the other nodes and how it affects they figured out how both to uh, manipulate steer and destroy economies and that applies on the macro to the micro scale. So the family economy can be destroyed through different shock waves. Think of something like supply chains and also the macro scale economies can be manipulated and or perhaps destroyed. So the amazing thing that this document says is that econ the economy becomes a secret weapon. The economy itself, the boom bust cycle, all of that is manipulated to be a energy loss system that saps the wealth and value that's created in every generation over time. Again, inflation is really just the theft of value over time. And this shock doctrine, he says, is all figured out through computer models. This is back in the 70s and 80s that were already feeding this information into large scale computer modeling that could tell you what to do in different situations to achieve the desired outcome. Ultimately, it says on page uh, 20 or page 15 is that this is to create a global government. That's the ultimate goal is a one world government. And this was all dreamt up under the Harvard Project. The Harvard Project being a bunch of uh, economic uh, 
P-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-T-S, <laughs> that figured out a way to uh, manipulate and ultimately destroy economies and to make economies themselves into weapons. They said ultimately this would be to bankrupt the household to not allow there to be any, again, upward mobility. And that this ultimately means that the fiat debt-based system is an energy theft system to steal, again, wealth and value over time. And it even goes into the way that different nodes within the system can be attacked because of the way that they affect the other nodes in the system. Another example of this is the very opposite of this, which is something like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a hard money asset, the, mo the hardest asset, in that it can't be inflated. It's a, it's a fixed number. And it, it's actually designed as a kind of engineering marvel to not have energy loss. So it's a way to store value and energy over time. If you want the second part of this talk where I go deeper into the full systemic analysis of how the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document describes the takeover, subscribe to Jay's analysis for $4.95 a month or $60 a year. And you get access to all of the vast five, six plus years of archives that we have there. Also, I would say if you're looking to uh, support Jay's analysis and also support your own health, you can get some chalk.com. I recommend the daily, especially if you're a girl. I recommend the Tongcat if you're a guy looking to boost testosterone. And use the promo code J60 at chalk.com. That's C-H-O-Q.com. J60 for 60% off right now.